Hello everybody and welcome to Advanced Maths. Today I'm going to show you how to advance your revision. I'm going to give you six simple steps to make the most of your revision and to ensure that you have the best chance possible of getting good grades at GCSE. Okay, so step one is just to watch one of my YouTube videos explaining a topic in maths. Don't make notes, don't copy anything down, don't have any distractions around you, just focus on the video and what I am saying and explaining. If you have a phone nearby or something that's going to distract you or a pet, just put it in the other room uh, just while you're focusing on the video. Step two, once you've watched it once, watch it again, but this time watch the video on mute. Turn the sound off and just focus on what is happening on the video without listening to the sounds. This can help you focus on the logic behind the maths. Because if you're watching and listening at the same time, that can be a bit overwhelming. And so sometimes it's a good idea to watch things on mute to help you understand. There's no pressure to do step two. If you feel like you've perfectly understood the video the first time, then you can skip straight to step three. But sometimes watching on mute can help. Step three, we're going to attempt the worked examples. And so in every advanced maths video, we always show you how to do exam style questions with some worked examples. So fast forward or rewind the video to when it shows you one of the examples in the video. Pause the video there and try to complete the worked example because you've already seen it twice already in step one and step two. See if you can do the uh, working out the thought, the methods and the process yourself uh, from memory. As I say, you've already seen me work out these exact questions on the video. So you should be able to do it from memory. And this should reinforce the logical steps to you uh, in step three. While you're doing this, you need to also reflect on the logic behind each step. So what was the point of me doing that particular piece of maths? Really think to yourself on why uh, that bit was important. Okay, now step four. There are practice questions at the end of every advanced maths video. And so you will see a screen like this and it says, practice, pause the video and try it yourself. And there I want you to pause the video on the question and see if you can answer everything on the screen. This will normally take about 10 to 15 minutes. Some are quicker, some take more time. But this is your opportunity to really put what you've learned into practice and see if you've understood the maths and you can do it yourself um, independently. Really focus while you're doing this and make the most of this uh, time. Okay, now you've done everything you can from the advanced maths. Now it's time to have a look at some exam style questions. To find some exam style questions, I recommend uh, these websites. Maths for Everyone, Corbett Maths, Maths Genie and Save My Exams. I will post a link to these in, in the description of this video. So if you want to uh, find some exam style questions to practice and revise yourself with, that's, uh, that'll be fantastic and uh, you'll be able to find those links in the description of this video. Of course, exam style practice will help you uh, see more exam style questions and help you prepare even better for your exams. Now, step six is about your long-term memory. You're going to have to revisit every topic more than once. And to make sure you're exercising your long-term memory, you need to re revisit the topic after one week, then revisit it after one month, and then revisit it again after six months. Now, obviously, the more often you revisit something, the better you understand it, and the better it sticks to your long-term memory. So you'll be able to remember it perfect for your exam and beyond. Okay. So that's really important. Do not just assume that you've watched one video and then you understand it perfectly. No. Every single time you learn something, unfortunately you begin to forget. And we need to exercise our long-term memory to make sure we remember things perfectly. Okay, so those are my six steps to exam success. And finally, just remember to keep your eye on the prize. 
whether you're aiming for your first job, to get hired in your first job, or to graduate from university, or anything else, maybe it's starting an apprenticeship, or even if it's just being proud of yourself for having tried your very best in your maths GCSE. Just remember to keep your eye on the prize and remember why you're working so hard. Because that really helps you to focus on your goals and to stay motivated. Okay, so my six steps are watch, then watch again on mute. Try the examples from the video. Try the practice questions from the video. Then practice exam questions and then revisit. Revisit after one week, after one month and then after six months. Okay. If you want to start today, these are the playlists I recommend. So my straight line graphs playlist covers everything you need to know in GCSE about straight line graphs. It's a really important topic for GCSE and for A-level and IB after that. So it's really important you understand that. And I also recommend trigonometry as well. So that's covering everything from Pythagoras and Sokotoa and things like sine and cosine rule as well. Those are fantastic playlists to start on today to get you started on your GCSE revision. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future advanced maths videos. We're covering GCSE A-level and uh, IB maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos will be coming out soon. So check back soon uh, to see what else you can help to revise. I hope you find this useful and I really help hope you found advanced maths useful as a channel. In 2021, we gained over 300 subscribers and crossed over uh, 12,000 views on the channel. So I'm really proud of uh, what this channel has achieved so far. And I'm really, uh, it's really good to hear how you guys have been using it at home to advise. So thank you for everyone who's commented or emailed me to let me know how you found it useful. Thanks again, guys, and good luck in your exams.